Good morning. It's Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Fountain of Life, and our scripture is Psalm 87. On the holy mountain stands the city founded by the Lord. He loves the city of Jerusalem more than any other city in Israel. O city of God, what glorious things are said of you. I will count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me, also Philistia and Tyre, and even distant Ethiopia. They have all become citizens of Jerusalem. Regarding Jerusalem, it will be said, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship there. And the Most High will personally bless this city. When the Lord registers the nations, he will say, they have all become citizens of Jerusalem. The people will play flutes and sing, the source of my life springs from Jerusalem. Problematic to the church is eisegesis, that which happens when people look at scripture and see only what they want to see. That's a sticky wicked indeed. Followers of Jesus think this only happens with pagans who want to attack Christian belief and use a passage out of context as a bludgeon to supposedly discredit and disprove Christianity as a whole. But sadly, it also happens in the church family. In fact, it happens especially in the church family. The last sentence of the 87th Psalm has singers gathered around the Lord's presence, lifting a testimonial song of praise. The source of my life springs from Jerusalem. In a casual reading of that verse, it's easy to start feeling all warm and fuzzy with thoughts of a nice, comfortable sense that everything is right in Zion. It's that picture of everything finally being in proper places with no problems and mortgage paid and the kids are safe in the great doctor's report and no cracks in any foundations. Many people get that same feeling in church services when we sing a song like When We All Get to Heaven or In the Sweet By and By. There's such a sense of secure future in heaven, which is so totally foreign to the present reality of chaos on earth. We live in a shadowy, troubled, in-between time here below, while perfection is off somewhere beyond the blue. Now, while it's true we've not yet arrived at the throne and we are pilgrims in this life, the awkward shadow trailing that truth is we wind up settling in with this existence, managing the pain of life with a teaspoon full of religion, instead of being fully immersed in the fountain of life. Let me put it simply. Jesus did not die in Jerusalem so that we could wring our hands over what this life offers or doesn't, just waiting to die and finally be with him. Jesus died so that we could be forgiven and freed to have an overflowing cup of the river of life eternally, beginning right now. Here's one other related simple thought to chew on as you hit the rocky road today. Whatever circumstances your life holds at this moment, if you've decided to settle in with the misery chaos brings in this life, and just waiting, trying to hold out until God finally takes you home, it's a good bet you can't sing the end of Psalm 87 now, that the source of your life springs from Jerusalem. And if you're not ready for his fountain of life here, you're going to have a hard time finding it in the hereafter. For you today, from the birth of the church on earth on the day of Pentecost to this very day, God's Spirit has been giving new life from the fountain of life. An old gospel song says it well. There came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. It filled their hearts with singing and gave them peace within. The prophet gave this promise. He said the Spirit will descend. And from your inner being, a river with no end. There is a river, and it flows from deep within. There is a fountain that frees the soul from sin. Come to this water. There is a vast supply. There is a river that never shall run dry. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road.